Your skin is breaking out due to several factors that are absolutely in your control, and today I'm going to go over these and show you how to fix them. As someone who cleared their acne almost completely naturally, I can show you exactly how to get rid of it with 5 tips right now and a bonus tip at the end. The first thing you have to do is understand that acne originates inside your body. Things surrounding you in your everyday life can affect you on the inside and it will show on the outside, which is what acne is. Have you ever taken into account your surroundings every day? For example, the air quality or the temperature or the amount of sun. And sure, you probably check the weather app day to day to figure out what to wear, but have you seriously considered it in regards to your skin? Probably not. What if I told you that your surroundings or environment are a driving factor in your skin health? You'd most likely be pretty surprised. Or maybe not, I don't know, but probably. The air quality or pollution in your area is a tough thing to fix, as living in a city or a high pollution area obviously isn't something under your control, but Think smaller, like your air quality in your house. My first tip is getting some high quality air filters for your house, or at least your room. The air is full of many harmful micromolecules, including things like microplastics. Microplastics are another surrounding factor for your skin. Microplastics are known as xenoestrogens. Xenoestrogens are simply molecules mimicking the effects of estrogen, a hormone, which will imbalance your overall hormones and this will increase oil production, causing you more breakouts. Now, take a look at the amount of plastics you're using day to day. It's probably a lot, and that's okay for now. Second tip is to try to limit the amount of plastic water bottles specifically you're using every day, as these are the base of microplastic consumption for the majority of people. When possible, opt for glass or metal items. In a future video, I'll explain how to fully avoid microplastics, but it's nearly impossible, so don't stress about it. If you want to detoxify microplastics, it is possible, unlike forever chemicals, which are undetoxifiable. That I'll talk about towards the end of the video. Getting rid of microplastics is as easy as taking a supplement. Look for a compound called DIM, or dindolomethane, as well as calcium d -glucurate. These will bind to xenoestrogens and get rid of them. Alpha lipoic acid is also great at supporting your liver through detoxification. Santa Cruz Paleo makes a great supplement on Amazon which will be linked down below. And no, I'm not sponsored. One of the most common subgroups of xenoestrogens, remember the estrogen mimicking compounds, are parabens. I almost guarantee your skincare products contain these, which is another reason why you're probably breaking out unknowingly. But not just your skincare, your hair care products too, and your dish soap, and your laundry detergent, and your candles, and even your clothes. But don't freak out. These items are easily replaceable, and I have something that will make it super easy. Bringing us to tip three. I am not sponsored, but Yucca is an excellent app for finding non-toxic products. Download it and find new products. Your skin will thank you. As for products you should look out to replace, skincare products, hair care products, dental care products, body washes, laundry detergents, dish soaps, and hand soaps. There are definitely some more out there, but these are big ones. Not only are parabens in your products, but also fragrance. It doesn't sound bad, but fragrance is actually pretty harmful to our bodies. They contain compounds called phthalates. These are harmful compounds that affect our endocrine system or hormones. So that brings us to tip four. Don't use things with scents unless they're all natural scents like essential oils. Toxic scents are found in air fresheners, candles, soap, detergents, those stupid dangly things in your car, please get rid of them, and even trash bags. Guess what else all these things contain? Yep, we are not done. Quite literally everything is killing us. Another compound found in all of these products is called PFAs, otherwise known as forever chemicals. Yes, forever chemicals, as in they last forever. Forever chemicals are in many things, from cooking pans to clothing, and the issue is once they're in your body, they never leave. There is currently no known way at detoxifying PFAs, so limiting exposure as best as possible is crucial. Limiting exposure is simple, but it costs more money and takes way more effort. If you want to seriously help your health though, it's a great investment. So, our fifth tip. Get rid of Teflon products in your house, wear cotton clothing, don't use plastic, avoid air fresheners, and finally stop using parchment paper. Avoiding PFAs can be hard as they seem as if they're in everything, but do your absolute best as your skin will thank you, and so will your reproductive system. Wait a minute, that's a different video. There is something else that has a huge impact on your skin apart from your surroundings and environment. This brings me to my bonus tip which is fixing nutrient deficiencies. This goes along more with diet, so check out part one if you haven't already. Nutrient deficiencies affect nearly everything in your body, but I'll recommend some nutrients that are particularly great for skin health and specifically fighting acne. Definitely consider supplementing with these, and if you're unsure of your deficiencies, you can get an at-home testing kit online. All of the links will be in the description below. First and foremost, vitamin D probably one of the most important nutrients that so many people are deficient in, as it mostly comes from the sun. I highly recommend supplementing with this as it will repair barrier function. Next is niacinamide or vitamin B3. This improves barrier function as well, 
but it also helps moisturize your skin and reduce redness. Also, vitamin B3 is amazing to use topically in a serum or a cleanser. Next up is pantothenic acid otherwise known as vitamin B5, which directly fights acne and controls oil production in your skin. Next, we have a few minerals, which are copper, zinc, iron, magnesium, manganese, and selenium. A great supplement on the market that contains most of these is Acneutrol, not to be confused with Accutane. I am not sponsored, but it's a great product to fight acne, and I've used it myself. And that's it, everybody. But keep in mind, these nutrients and changes to your environment won't help your skin as much as your diet and sleep. So check out part one and part two here. Thanks for watching, everyone.